All righty. Hey, everybody. I am here. This is BorderCityRockTalk.ca. We've got a very, very, very powerful guest uh, with me today. I've got Joey Santiago from the Pixies. How are you doing, Joey? I feel very, very, very powerful today. You feel powerful? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. we got a few things uh, to touch base on. Um, a couple uh, housekeeping uh, things I'd like to know. I've always liked this. always wanted to say housekeeping. I watch these uh, interviewers and they have housekeeping things. So, uh, first of all, um, coffee or tea? Coffee. I'm having coffee right now. Very Well, yeah, because it's only, what, uh, just about noon uh, your time? Oh, yeah. I drink coffee all day. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Okay. David Lee Roth or Sammy Hagar? Lee Roth. All right. Okay. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Um, got a few things to talk about. Um, a lot of good Canadian connections. Actually, not even an hour ago, I was just doing some prep work. I obviously know who you guys are. I've been a fan for years, but uh, I saw you guys when you uh, did your debut on the Letterman Show in 1991 or 92. Whew. It, it's, uh, not, it's, yeah, I would say 91. Yeah, it was when uh, Trump Lamont came out. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that was that was, that was interesting. Looking back, ninety two. That's like that's like twenty some years ago, and David looks so much different. But uh, yeah, you guys sounded great. So, um, where are we going to start? I want I want to go to the Canadian connection, but I want to yeah. Well, let's do the Canadian connection, then we'll get to uh, the real reason why I'm speaking to you for your fans. Um, Leonard Cohen, um, a lot of Canadians, uh, a lot of Pixies fans might not. Well, I'm sure the Pixies fans will know, but uh, you uh, you did I Can't Forget uh, for their, his uh, tribute uh, album. Uh, and it was released, wasn't it, by a French magazine? <clears throat> yeah, it was. It was. So how did I remember, that I remember going, um, yeah, I, it was by a French magazine. So how did that come about? How did they approach you or you found out about it and you approached them as being a, a Leonard fan, a Cohen fan? Oh, uh, no. I, um, they approached us and we did it. We love Leonard Cohen. No. Yeah, he's he's uh, very intense. A lot of people, um, when I interview, I'll, I'll say, you know, favorite Canadian artists. And he's one of them. It just goes under the radar for some reason. Okay. Uh, Neil Young, too. Everybody thinks Neil is an American. He's probably uh, got dual citizenship, but he's very much a Canadian first. Yeah, Neil Young's not Neil Young would be mine. Oh, is that right? Well, right yeah. on, right on. Um, another Canadian. I'm not sure if you're aware. There's a Canadian rapper. This just come out named New, spelled N-U-E. He just sampled um, one of your songs. Um, where can I find this? I think that that's what it was for his new song. Did you hear about that? No, no. What did he sample? I'm just trying to just, oh, where's my mind? Sorry, where's my mind? Yeah. Oh, of course. <laughs> so when you hear of things like that, obviously, um, legally, um, you know, I don't know exactly how it works if they have to approach you, if they can do it on their own, as long as they don't, you know, copyright it as their own. So obviously, you just got wind of it now. I did. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, anyways, uh, shout out to him. And uh, he's obviously picking uh, good music to sample. So there you go. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys are going to be touring, uh, starting in September. Have you done any dates yet? Any warm up dates? You know, speak, you know, the licensing. I mean, yeah, yeah, you do have to license it. Even if I, even if I, uh, sampled the Pixies and I didn't get permission, I would get sued. Oh, okay. Well, hey, you <laughs> be hearing from somebody. Anyways, uh, have you done any shows to prep for the, uh, the, the tour starting in September with, uh, none other than Nine Inch Nails? Um, no. No, so you don't really need much prep? You obviously know your music. <laughs> no, my my main concern is really fitting back in my suits. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Honestly, that's it. Yeah, so, okay, so you start, you're doing about uh, string of shows, I think it's about, I don't know, what is it, 18 or something? I just glanced over on your website really quick. Is that a rough, am I approximately right? 18, uh, we've shows. been together, yes, yes, we're entering our 18th year. Know what I mean? How many shows in the little tour? In the tour starting? Oh, season? I see. I see. Jeez, I don't know. I don't oh, even know, but it's a short one. Yeah, and, it, and they can add. They can add them. You know, you can find out the next day that oh, this has been added, or that's been added. Yeah, I'm. I think it's short as far as like, you know, 
we won't even know we left. Okay, it froze on me there a bit, but as long as we got the oh, audio. Really? And then in 2022, you're going to be heading over to Europe to do mm -hmm. some work there. Um, looking, you must be looking forward to getting on the road, obviously. Yeah, I am. I am. I turned on the um, BBC news just to uh, reminisce about my times in England. Right, right. Um, I've got a question for you. Is there something in your Pixies contract where you only hire female bassists? Oh, yeah, yeah, there is. There is. We made um, a pact <laughs> with the devil and, you know, the devil is female, by the way. No one knows that, you know. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. So, yeah, so I know I just noticed that you have Paz in the band now. So, so that's pretty cool. Um, okay, so 30th anniversary of Trump Le Bon, which uh, mm -hmm. describe your feelings on that album, making it and do ever in your wildest dreams think that it would be that prominent of, a, of an album 30 years later? Um, making it, um, you know, making it, not going to sugarcoat it. We weren't, we weren't at our best. Um, um, at getting along at that time. Uh, it's obvious that we were kind of on the downhill spiral as far as that, but as far as the, the material itself, it's, um, it's good. You know, we, 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 a lot of people claim that it's their favorite. Yeah. You know, some people do, you know, I mean, it's, it's not to say that Surfer Rosa and Doolittle that's basically people's bread and butter, but right. you know, I'm surprised that sometimes it's Trump Lamont. Yeah, for sure. And that's, and it's being released in September, correct? Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I, obviously, um, as you're relating to some people, uh, even legends in the industry are looking, look at you guys and just with a, a godlike vision, uh, David Bowie says you, one of the most, like, I can't quote it exactly because my memory is not the greatest, but <laughs> one of the most compelling bands of the day, I, I think Bono said something to the effect of one of America's best bands out there uh, in the 80s. Uh, when you hear things like that, or when you heard those, did you like, did you, was it a pinch me moment, or are you thinking these guys are just being, they're being smart, or like, how do you take something that, in like that, from such real legends like yourselves, but I mean, back then? It's not good enough. What Bono said, if he said one of the best, no, he has to say the best, and then and then I'll and then I'll be flattered. Well, he, oh, I just like he did say the best song. Yeah, it was my error. He said we were the best. Yeah, he did. So okay, then 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 I'm flattered. Bono's off, Bono's off the hook. Bono's off the hook. Okay, I was going to say that you can't say one of the. Yeah, true yeah. enough. Hey, when you found out that uh, the country of Chile. Uh, name their capital city after you. How did how did that make you feel? It felt good, you know. After all the, um, you know, my, after all the, uh, you know, I showed them where the king crabs were. I showed them how to make pisco. Yep. Yeah. Uh, um, so, you know, it was. Must it's, have been it's, it's it's really no surprise, you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. obviously, but I mean. It was an inevitable, inevitable, just like it's just inevitable say. that we're going to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, you know? Just yeah, absolutely. Uh, mm -hmm. Habla Espanol? Habla Espanol. Um, un, um, un poquito? Oui, oui, oui. Okay, right on. I've traveled wow. to America wow. and actually I haven't gone to Chile, but I will have to check out uh, the statues they have of you around town, so. Well, there is a rule when we go to Chile that no one's allowed to say, uh, we're in Santiago. No, no, it'd be a revolution. I mean, no, no, we you can't say you, anyone's inside me. You know, it's it's a little. I take it as a little perverted. You know, if you're gonna be uh, in Joey, you I need dinner uh, and a movie. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps we can talk about being inside me. Yeah, no, I, I, totally, I can't believe it went that way. All right, I love that. Joey. Of um, course, it's gonna go that way. Yeah. So any uh, uh, any Canadian influences other than Leonard and Neil that um, over the years or anything now currently um, since you uh, you are dodging Canada for a tour? I know obviously you guys are looking into it and you're working on it. I'm just teasing. But seriously, on that note, any Canadian influences either guitar wise, music wise or bud wise? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, hey, comedians. I, I'm out of the um, 
music scene. I mean, you know, hey, what about that band in Montreal? Uh, Goddamn it, Arcade Fire. Yes. Yeah. Very popular band. Yeah, well, I like them. I do like them. Props to them. Yeah. And comedians mm -hmm. who's talking about Dan Aykroyd, Martin Short, John Candy. I know. Well, I mean, the reason now we have to laugh. I mean, we just have to laugh. Yeah. You laugh after you say sorry, right? You know? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. How was your interaction with uh, Mr. Paul Schaefer or Mr. Keyboard when you're on the Letterman show? He's actually, well, he's not near Canada, such a vast country, but he's the closest big city to where I am. I'm in Sault Ste. Marie. He's in Thunder Bay. That's what. Oh, really? Talking. Yeah. That's 10 hours oh, away. Wow. I don't think he lives there right now. He's probably living, he's probably down the street from you, to be honest. But yep. um, do you have any interaction or any memories of uh, Mr. Schaefer, or is it just one of those things where you. You're on the Letterman show, and it's you're in the green room, and you're you're stoked, and you get in, you play, and then you're off to the hotel because you got gigs the next night. I mean, I remember him going into a green room, and it said it smelled very nice. Oh, isn't that nice? Yeah, we were because we were um, we were smoking special stuff. Special K? Yeah. No, special. Special J. Special J. The special J. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. I love mm -hmm. it. Okay, so um, I don't want to keep you much longer, and it's it's really for the reason I know that um, when you guys do your days of uh, when you have your press, it's one after the other. It's exhausting. I, I, we're looking forward to seeing you hopefully live here in Canada. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. If not, um, I'm sure we're going to be able to get over and see you in the States, and um, you're doing those, uh, the Europe. Any, uh, this tour that you're doing right now, is it supportive of the two nine? 219 album um beneath no not really i mean oh. it's just um for the support of um um i don't know what is the support for supporting Nothing. all your great music for all your great yeah music. yeah just to get out support of for our mental health support of uh, sanity sanity yes right, right. Yeah. Uh, last question any uh Thoughts of another album coming up in, say, 2022? Have you done any writing over this uh, sabbatical we've all been on? True. You are? Okay, I like that. Yes. Okay. True. All right, Joy. Answer's okay. true. <laughs> yes, we are. We are. Perfect. i like to yeah. thank you so much. Uh, Mary and uh, uh, Heidi have been great. And, um, yeah, man, looking forward to seeing you. And um, keep up the great work, man. All right. All right. Ernest, right? Yes, sir. Ernest, that's a good one. Good one. They didn't name any capital city after me that I know of, but maybe if you put in, in a word? I can, I can. I could make it uh, the suburb of Santiago, somewhere in there. Bueno. Yeah, bueno. 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 Muy bueno. Okay. Take care. Okay, thanks, Joey.